Hello everyone, how's it going? MacMan here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a Mac application called Big Aperture. This app is available in the Mac App Store currently for 99 cents, so without further ado, let's jump right into the review. So once you open up the application, it's going to ask you to open a file. Now, this application allows you to add cool-looking focuses on photos. It also has some very nice color overlays that can give your picture a nice feel. So I'm just going to select open file and we're going to find a photo on my computer. So once you have your photo opened up in the application, you'll notice that it's displayed on the main page. On the left hand side we have open and export. On the right hand side we have our basic features and our advanced. In basic we can change things like a portrait, a nature, a macro, or an architecture focus. We can also edit these by turning them and moving them side to side. If we look into aperture size, we can change it just from these different defaults. We can also change the lens style, and we also have some effects. If we look into the advanced, we can customize where we like to put our focus, but at exact location. So I'm going to make it so it focuses on this Ferrari. So I'm going to go to the brush, and we can change our brush size, the brush softness, and the opacity. So I'm just going to get it um, right on this Ferrari. Now it's better to be exact. What I usually do is just cover it up completely and then go around with it with the eraser. So once you're pretty much finished, we can select after on the top right. This will apply the focus onto the photo. Then we can select aperture size and we can change the size of the aperture. So if we move it to the left, it's going to be less blurred out. If we move it more to the right, it's going to be very blurred out. So I prefer it around um, the middle ones. This one's good for the photo. Then we can also change the lens. I haven't found a big difference by using these. Then we can have some custom adjustments for the photo such as the saturation contrast and luminance and then at the very bottom we can find our video effects now it comes with some uh, different video effects classic lomo uh, bnw art and frame and we have some pretty cool effects here as we can see um, pretty well done and they do go with the photo quite well so once we just find the one we like i think this one's pretty nice um, we can select it. We can also have some frames right here. Uh, we'll just test out some frames. I'll just select any one. And then we have B&W as well. Uh, Lomo. And we have some different, um, effects that we can add. I'm just going to stick with this one. And then we can select export. And we are going to export the photo. We can select what file type we'd like to, um, save it as. I'll just say test and we'll save it into our desktop. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, check out my second channel at The Pixel Tech. There I do reviews on products, iOS applications, and much more. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.